They may be dressed in camouflage, but these soldiers are in plain view at the Olympic Park now that more than 18,000 British troops have been deployed as security personnel for the Games. Thousands of disgruntled troops were called in last minute as additional guards after private security contractor G4S announced it could not meet its Olympic quota. The security budget has gone up uh, very dramatically. Beijing was not really a target for terrorists. London, UK, USA are probably the ultimate targets. Makeshift barracks for the extra troops are popping up around London, including this one in a disused warehouse. Experts say a lone wolf act of terror poses the likeliest threat, especially in the aftermath of July's Aurora, Colorado shooting. I think the greatest threat to any major event like we have is of things that we, you can't plan for. And if you look around the world nowadays, the greatest thing that we can't plan for anywhere in the world is what we're calling the lone wolf. And that lone wolf is someone that's very unpredictable. It's not something that you can counter because it's a one-off. However, those involved with the Olympic security effort reassure the public that the massive operation is nothing the UK can't handle. If anybody doesn't feel that they were prepared to do this at every moment of the road, I think that would be silly. I think the UK government was well ahead of this game in the event that it did fail for whatever reason. Here at Olympic Park, the pressure is building as the world anxiously awaits to see if Britain can pull off the largest peacetime security operation in the history of their nation. In London, for CBS Boston, I'm Victoria Price.